you join me in my Rover 45 in what might be considered the women's driving position. There's a very good reason for this. If you're putting your seat back in as I am today, I've put the interior back in after getting a new radio, a Traffic Master radio, or a former Traffic Master considering the system does not work no more, but it's a working clock and it's all back together. Putting the driver's seat back in is a bit difficult because obviously your sliders might be all over the place. So to line the bolts up on the runners, you've got to push the seat all the way forwards and then get the back two bolts in. And then to get the seat to slide back, you've got to sit in it. And that's what I'm doing now. I've got to sit in it in order to slide back. And now we can slide back. That's a lot better. I give women a lot of credit for driving like that. I mean, sitting next to the wheel like that must be quite intimidating. I mean, it's like sitting in a double-decker bus, quite frankly. Well, since I'm all back in, I might as well just share what I've done. And that is simply putting the car back together again. The seats are now back in. The carpet is in. The interior console and centre console is in. And I will just come round here and show you the fantastic women's driving position. Excuse me a second. Whoops. And in here we have the radio I once fitted to a P6, which looks absolutely in keeping with this interior. The only thing I was annoyed about? Yeah, you spotted it. How on earth I did that? I was so cross in myself. But hey, never mind. There's going to be the odd tear here and there. It's what happens when you take cars apart, unfortunately. I'm sure I can get another one if I really wanted one. But the truth is, it goes together rather well. Radio works. A few little bits and pieces to go back in, but it's all looking rather nice. 